Hey everybody, this is your girl Andrea Mandavi and I am back for another video. So I'm going to want to talk about a few topics today. Sorry. I just got off of a live and all that good shit. So I was actually doing a live with these topics, but I wasn't getting a lot of interaction because of the fact I posted late and I wasn't being consistent with it. So I was like, girl, let me just come on here, do the video like through YouTube, but not actually make it a live and just talk about the topics I want to talk about. So Y'all, I got my little drink to talk about my little topics. And I'm definitely not going to waste the outfit in a good face and a good beat. I said, outfit though. It's cute. Okay. But yes, we're going to get into it. And I hope you guys go ahead and interact with it. I'll go ahead and we're going to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good shit. Because that's what we're here for. We're here for interaction. That's how you help me get paid. Cause bitch, I want some money. I'm trying to make this so I'm trying to make some money off this. Okay, cause I ain't gonna keep doing no YouTube videos for much longer. If the bitch ain't trying to make me no partner. <laughs> hey D. Hey girl. <laughs> okay, so I want to talk about first topic, digging up ancestors. So I had seen on Facebook where they had dug up this um, mummy, it was a woman, over there in Egypt, and they ended up taking her wig and putting it on display. Like, what the fuck is going on with that? Why would you dig up someone else's ancestors, take her wig from her, and put it on display over there in Europe? I'm sick and tired of white people doing shit like this. It's always white people over here digging up ancestors, taking our shit, and putting it on display for motherfuckers to see in other countries. Now, you wonder why I'll be over here getting plagues and COVIDs and shit like that with shit going on right now. Because y'all act like y'all can't keep people where the fuck they found it. And they just dug up a whole bunch of... um bodies in another burial site over there in Egypt that were like marked in an unknown tomb and all this other shit because they didn't want to be found. Stop digging up people that don't want to be found. Stop digging up shit that you ain't got no business touching. Stop opening motherfuckers coffins who don't need to have them open. Motherfuckers they be become curses and shit on shit like that. Like have y'all not seen the mummy one and two? And y'all still want to go ahead and do some shit like this? Y'all still want to go ahead and open up people's tombs and coffins and take their jewelry possessions in a wig? Why would you take a black woman's wig? I don't get that. Like, why would you take a black woman's wig? I don't understand. You're going to like, I'd be damned if I sent her laying in my coffin in 2,000 years from now, something that snatched my good lace. <laughs> I mean, I'm hopefully it would still be intact, but why would you take my lace off and put it in the um museum over there in France or some shit like that? That don't make no damn sense. Because I don't never do this shit with white people. What's the last time you heard of a white person getting dug up and they put any of their shit on the slave? Exactly, you have it, because they don't do that shit like that. They don't do it to their own culture. And even it was some Egyptian people that dug people up. I still have a problem with that, because the fact that you're digging up people that aren't your family members, and you're digging their shit up, and you ain't got no right to that. I feel some type of way about people digging up motherfuckers, and, you know, putting them on display and shit like, damn, you really trying to profit off of black bodies from when they was um, dead, and now um, from when they was alive, and now that they dead, you still want to profit off them? How people come and pay to see their bodies and their um, art and their jewelry and their hair pieces and their clothes on display. Like, y'all can't just take pictures and do that. Why do you have to go ahead and put it on display for motherfuckers to see in general? Like, why do you have to take the shit from them? Like, if I'm buried with my shit, let me be buried with my shit. Don't take my shit off of me when I'm dead. But then again, you know, when we dead and gone, bitch, we ain't got no say in what happens. But, I mean, I'd rather go out and put my shit together, you know, while I'm over here dead. Put my best jewelry on just because. I want to go into the afterlife. Blank, blank it, baby. Okay, I want to go into the afterlife. Set shit off. I want to look cute. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to be up in the afterlife, baby. I'm trying to give y'all body. I'm trying to give y'all a nice outfit. I'm trying to give y'all the bling, the bling. Ting, ting, ting. Okay, so white people, please stop digging up ancestors of black folks. If you want to dig up somebody, dig up, um, what's his name? Dig up George Washington and get that old dusty ass white wig that he was wearing. Do that. Or go ahead and um, take out them damn slave dentures that he had running up and through his mouth. Do that. Or go ahead and see how, go ahead and dig up, what's his name? Abraham Lincoln and see if that nigga was strength, ten, and see if that nigga's chin was really that strong. That's what y'all need to do. That's what y'all need to go ahead and um, dig up. Dig up all these um, past presidents like James Madison and all these other motherfuckers. Dig up these people. Y'all got your own people y'all can dig up. Don't dig up ours. 
Don't dig up our ancestors. Don't dig up black folks and then profit out their bodies. You want to dig somebody up? Dig up one of them old ass rich white people. Put their ass on display. Profit up their exploitation. Don't profit off of ours. Okay? Now, next topic is men wanting credit for being faithful. Now, I had seen on The Breakfast Club, I don't remember who said it. I don't remember who, you know, was interviewing. I said it was on the Breakfast Club. And this man said basically that men should be rewarded for not cheating because it's harder for men to cheat. I mean, it's hard for men to remain faithful because, you know, they're always trying to fuck. It's not in them to be faithful. So they feel like they should be rewarded for being faithful to their partners. Now, why am I rewarding you some shit that you should have been doing if you're in a relationship? If you're in a monogamous relationship with somebody, why should I reward you for doing the bare minimum and staying faithful to me? Because if you didn't want to be with me, then you should have told me that, and you could have went out and fucked whoever you want to fuck. But instead, you decided to be in a relationship with me, and this is the, the this is the shit that you got. So therefore, you want to fuck me and only me. That's when we got to a monogamous relationship. And then the shit went off on this. It was like, well, you know, women pressure men into being in monogamous relationships. They pressure men into, you know, only want to fuck with them. But it's like, ain't nobody pressuring you to do nothing you don't want to do. I'm not holding a gun to your head. If you know this is the standard that I have for me, this is everything I have set up for me. So these are my requirements. You need to be faithful. You need this. You need to be that in order to be in a relationship with me. And if you abide by that, you want to be in a relationship with me, then that's what the rules you need to abide by. You need to go ahead and remain faithful, communicate well, and everything else that I said that I wanted in a relationship. Nobody's holding these dudes' heads to no damn good in order to remain faithful. And no, I'm not going to reward you for something that you should be doing in a relationship. If you know the laundry needs to be done and you do it, am I going to reward you with a damn cookie because you did the laundry knowing it needs to be done? That's something that you do as a grown-ass adult that you should be doing. So why am I rewarding you for doing that? Why am I rewarding you for paying bills? Why am I rewarding you for, you know, taking out the trash? I'm not rewarding for that because that's shit that you should be doing if you're living with somebody. That's shit that you should be doing when you have a house, when you have bills, when you're checking your name, when you want to be an adult. That's what you should be doing. Just like you should be remaining faithful if you're in a relationship with somebody. Okay? That's not something that I'm going to give you credit for. That's not something I'm going to give y'all kudos for. We're not doing that. Sorry, y'all, I got people in the background. I'm at the little party thing, but I want to go ahead and get my topics off real quick. Talk to y'all about them. Hopefully, y'all like these. Hopefully, y'all can engage with these in the comments below after this. But, yeah, I'm no longer giving nobody no other fucking credit for shit. Regardless, I would have done it before. But I damn sure ain't finna give no nigga no credit for being faithful to me when he wants to be in a relationship with me. I don't got time for that. I got to go live and just did a um, video. I'm going to upload it because I'm going to hit TV for Oh. Do you have anything to say about men wanting credit for being a, um, faithful in a relationship? They want the credit for being unfaithful in a They want credit for being faithful in a relationship. They said that men, they face a harder time remaining faithful in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So women should reward them with that. Because it's in a man's nature in order to, you know, go out and fuck and do this to be with multiple women. No. So, like, well, you should, because it's harder for men than it is for women to be faithful. That's on the man. That but that depends on the man that you are and who you was brought up and how you was brought up and how you was raised. Not every man is supposed to be out there fucking and, and doing everything else and making babies and procreating with everybody. God does say that a man is supposed to find a wife and have and, and multiply with his family, his wife. Not just out there fucking suck. Okay. And why should I go like I said, I told him, why should I give you kudos for some shit you that should you should doing? already be doing? Like you're in a relationship, you're supposed to stay faithful. I'm not going to reward you just because you stay faithful. Like, no, nah, he didn't go out and fuck this bitch because he wanted to. I should give him, take him on a trip or something. Like, <laughs> the fuck? You're not a child. You're a grown-ass man. And exactly. if you can't stay faithful, don't get in the fucking relationship. Mm -hmm. Women are not required to reward you when you are faithful. Stay okay. faithful because you're in a relationship. That's what a relationship is. Okay. We're not rewarding you for doing the bare minimum. Very true. Very okay. True. Now it's that men, women pressure men into being in a relationship. So that's why they should be rewarded. Because we pressure them into monogamous relationships with us. I mean, I can see the pressure. But in another well, pressure is in there. another sense, the woman shouldn't have to put pressure on a man that wants to be in a relationship with her. You shouldn't have to put on that pressure. So mm -hmm. if that man, if you're putting on that, all that pressure and he's still dodging it and doing this, that, go find you another man. Fact. A woman shouldn't have to put that much pressure on a man to, to do what he's supposed to do. And if, when I do pressure you into it, I'm not supposed to reward you because... You decided that you wanted to stay faithful. If you don't want to be in a relationship and be monogamous, then you should have said no. Thank you. But thank you, women. What you mean by? If you're chasing after that man that doesn't want to be in a monogamous relationship, you can't change him. Like go on, find you somebody that's that. It's not worth the chase at the end of the day. 
Oh, yes, because I'm not going to change gonna it. Because if you want to pressure him in it, he's going to get in it, and he's going to cheat on y'all. Y'all not going to have no happy life. Because mm-hmm. you pressure this man. If you find you somebody that you ain't got to pressure. Exactly. When they put pressure on you, you are the female. Let them pressure you. Don't pressure no man. Okay. Because you, you can't raise a man. Okay. Okay. Because he wasn't raised That's right before you. Game night. Okay. And I'm going to get off this and go to game night, too. But I got one more topic to talk about you. One more. So, I just want to go ahead and read these uh, people for supporting Trump. Lil Wayne, your ass is grass. 50 cent, you need to be 49 cent with your cheap ass. Just because you don't want no motherfucking tax credit, you're going to endorse Trump ass. Just look like I give a fucking fact that you know, just because you're a millionaire, you want um, you don't want tax cuts for the rich. Yet you expect motherfuckers like us who work minimum wage jobs and are, you know... Just doing what we need to be doing to survive these middle class workers, and we should be getting most of the brunts from the taxes. No, fuck that. Fuck all y'all rappers, because all y'all are elitists, and the only thing y'all want to do is stay rich. Stay rich and die. Y'all are so far removed from where y'all came from, and from the hood y'all grew up in, and from the people that you outgrew because you became rich. Because y'all know the motherfucker out here making $800 is getting that cut into a $600 paycheck. Yeah, you can't, as a millionaire, if you get paid a million dollars, you're going to get what six, seven hundred thousand of that out of that million. If you know, cause Biden with his tax cut plan, nigga, that's still way above what we're getting as middle class workers. So the least you'll ask you do is you know take one, for, well, take one for the team, cause you're still gonna be rich. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> y'all still gonna be rich regardless. So why go ahead and um. Tax poor people and middle class workers. Tax the motherfuckers making millions and millions and thousands of dollars. Don't tax the motherfuckers when it, the, um, our middle class workers making minimum wage, shit like that. $12 um, dollars an hour. Fuck that. So that's all I had to say. Those are the topics for my live. And I just want to go ahead and talk to y'all about them real quick. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Check out the next actual live. So I hope people actually come and comment and engage with me. I don't know when it's going to be. But, you know, I'm just going to upload this to YouTube now. And, you know, hopefully y'all will tune in, like it. So let me know what y'all think and what topics you want to hear from me about. All right, have a good night, y'all. Bye.